Being a firefighter is a great career. For 25 to 30 years, we are given the gift of helping people at a time when they need it most. We command the respect of our community, and many look up to us as heroes. On top of that, we have the good fortune in our department to still have a strong retirement system with many options that offer us the opportunity for financial peace of mind in our retirement years. If you know how to utilize the resources available to us, we can begin a full secure retirement at a much younger age than most. But having the ability to retire young comes with a few problems we have to deal with that the ordinary retiree doesn't. And that's what I wanted to talk to you about in this video today. I'm Gary Gonzalez, and I retired as a battalion chief in 2009 after 26 and a half years with Miami-Dade Fire Rescue. I've dedicated much of my post-retirement life to helping other firefighters achieve fulfillment and financial freedom in their retirement years. Although a lot of what I talk about is financial, we firefighters tend to overlook an important risk we face in retirement, and that's this. We spend our careers helping others, earning respect and admiration from the general public, and serving our communities in ways that are unimaginable to those outside our profession. We are blessed with a very strong sense of purpose in our work. When we retire at an age when we're still young and vital, we can lose this sense of purpose, and that can be very dangerous. As we know all too well from the tragic choices some of our retired brother and sister firefighters have made, don't be afraid to talk about it with someone you trust, someone who can understand what you're going through. I've seen too many retirees really struggle in this area. Financially, one of the most common problems we face is the potential of many more years of retirement in front of us. For today's firefighter, average life expectancy in retirement is not that different from the general public, but we tend to retire much younger. We need a retirement plan that has the ability to sustain us for more years and beat the effects of inflation, or the fact that everything is likely to cost more with each passing year. So is the pension or is the investment plan the better choice? It all depends on who you are and what your specific situation is. It could be either. The IRS also has a few things to say about people who retire early, and not knowing the rules can quickly get you in trouble and pull you off track. The penalties from the IRS can be severe and can make the difference between you having a great retirement and you watching your accounts rapidly dwindle because of IRS fees. We see a lot of misunderstandings about when and how you can access different accounts, including if, when, or how much you are required to take. It's so important to educate yourself or to find somebody you trust who really knows. I don't know a single person who has enjoyed dealing with IRS troubles. Additionally, not understanding the ramifications of your pension options can lead you down the road to serious financial struggles. Once you pick which pension option you are going to live with for the rest of your life, it can't be changed. You really need to know what the downside as well as the upside is to each option and how your and your spouse's life could be affected by it. We've seen some horrendous mistakes here and unfortunately Many have been because the firefighter just didn't understand both sides of the decision until it was too late. This is by no means a complete list of the pitfalls I see as firefighters approach retirement. I'd like to suggest that you don't go it alone when navigating through your retirement choices. Seek out an unbiased professional, a professional who isn't looking to ultimately sell you products to invest in, like insurance policies and annuities. It just makes good sense to talk to someone who has no incentive to advise you to do anything other than what is in your best interest. We are North Star Financial Planners, a fee-only financial planning firm. As financial planners who are paid only by you, we have a strict fiduciary legal requirement to put your interests ahead of our own. We won't try to sell you any financial products. We're here to offer you solutions. So come in and talk to us. The first meeting won't cost you any more than your time and you'll probably walk away with a far better understanding of which path is the right one for you. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in retirement. And be safe out there.